Knowles's Adult Learning Theory Malcolm Knowles's Adult Learning Theory, or Andragogy, emphasizes that adults are self-directed and expect to take responsibility for decisions. In other words, andragogy is the concept or study of how adults learn and how it differs from children. It aims to show how adult learning is distinct and identify the learning styles which suit them best. In what follows, I will briefly sketch the six key assumptions of Knowles's adult learning theory. First, the need to know. The first assumption states that adults need to know why they need to learn something before undertaking to learn it. By explaining the purpose of the assignment and the learning outcome of the assignment prior to assigning the task, the instructor can increase the chance that the adult learner will be motivated to attempt the task. Faculty members may choose to explain or provide an outline of the learning expectations prior to beginning class or lecture, and this would be one method to implement the essential assumption in a classroom environment. As already intimated, adult students are more inclined to be motivated when they understand what they are expected to learn. Second, the learner's self-concept. The second assumption states that adults have a self-concept of being responsible for their own decisions, for their own lives. According to Nada Dabber of George Mason University, the learner's self-concept is a key predictor for success, and students who have an internal locus of control tend to be more successful, especially in the online learning environment. For this reason, the instructor must be willing to give up control of the course to allow the learners to be empowered to work on the course content together with the instructor as an equal. Hence, the instructor may consider accessing and incorporating an adult's life experiences into class activities since adult experiences are a valuable resource. Faculty members and students may also work together to design instructional materials that are acceptable to both parties to address the learner's needs. Activities to support and encourage learners in this area should be activities that are collaborative in nature. Indeed, adults need to be viewed as being capable, and collaborative activities should provide the opportunity for adults to demonstrate their capabilities. It is also important to note that in the second assumption of Knowles's adult learning theory, students are encouraged to participate actively in group projects and collaborative activities. Third, the learner's prior experiences. According to Knowles, the third andragogical assumption states that adults have different life experiences from children, thereby creating a more heterogeneous group of learners. Thus, encouraging learners to connect their learning to life experiences can help the learner gain a better understanding of the learning material. For this reason, the course content must be structured in a way that fosters sharing of experiences among learners such as using group projects and interactive discussions. Course content should be flexible in that it can evolve rather than follow a specific script. Knowles suggests that instructors who would like to implement this assumption course need to ask the students their opinion regarding the activities they would like to participate in to improve their learning experience. Activities may be collaborative in nature, which allows for student interaction and conversations that may lead to mastery of course material. This is so because students who actively participate and contribute to their learning will be more engaged and motivated to learn and, thus, be more successful. Hence, instructors, according to Knowles, should create a learning environment that is encouraging and conducive to learners sharing their personal experiences, ideas, and opinions. A useful activity for sharing past experiences involves reflections from a journal. Short writing exercises to share and reflect on learners' knowledge of a particular topic, which may include their past experiences, can also be used as an effective assessment tool. Fourth, the learner's readiness to learn. 
The fourth assumption of andragogy is the adult learner's readiness to learn, which, according to Knowles, means aligning learning with developmental concepts. Here, the needs of the learner must be addressed quickly to ensure the success of learners. Chris Watkins, a reader in education at the University of London, Institute of Education, suggests asking the adult learners about specific experiences with topics related to the course content and about expectations for the course. For example, an instructor could post a discussion question to the class, and the students would then be required to respond to the discussion question and to the posts made by their peers. By using an asynchronous environment, the instructor may use discussion questions to encourage student engagement with their peers. It is important to note that in an asynchronous environment, the students have time to reflect on the posts of others and organize their thoughts before they respond. The answers the students provide can help an instructor get a better understanding of the learner's readiness to learn the course content, and it would allow the students to get a better understanding of what they are about to learn. Fifth, the learner's orientation to learning. The fifth assumption in Knowles's adult learning theory is that adult learners are motivated to learn when given authentic learning activities, and as such, the curriculum should be process-based versus content-based to allow learners to develop content in accordance with their specific needs. It is critical to the success of learners that instructors provide adults with activities that capture their attention and keep them engaged. It is important to note that authentic learning activities provide meaning beyond the learning environment. Examples of authentic activities include case studies, team problem-solving activities, and conducting interviews. Faculty members may consider focusing on creating task-based activities. According to Knowles, task-based activities can be used to help learners get a sense of how to apply practice to their lives. Sixth, the learner's motivation. The sixth assumption in Knowles's adult learning theory is that adult learners are intrinsically motivated to learn. For this reason, according to Knowles, instructors can support the students' intrinsic motivation to learn by providing a learning environment that engages the students and encourages them to be active participants. To create a positive learning environment for adults, as Knowles suggests, instructors must be aware of the need of learners to be appreciated, valued, and respected. Using games, for example, or simulating a radio talk show to include guests, or using multimedia when appropriate, all have been used successfully to enhance student motivation. Now, as we can see, Implementing the learning assumptions outlined above is invaluable in shaping the learning process to be more conducive to adults. And according to Knowles, they should be used as a guide for developing the adult learning environment. In fact, andragogy is a set of assumptions that can apply to all adult learning situations, as Knowles argues, to include an online environment. On a last note, a benefit in applying andragogy includes the ability to adapt the assumptions to fit the needs of individual learners and to the learning situation.